Today I'm going to talk about a um, commonly asked question. That's the what caliber should I buy question. And I'm not going to make a recommendation. But what I am going to do is, well I'm going to say right now, I'm only shooting 9 and 40. I have two bullets here. <clears throat> this one being a 9, this one being a 40. You know, not much difference in size. But, and I'm and I'm speaking on, uh, of course, handguns. Because my, my theme, when I talk about uh, caliber and stuff, and I'm really, I speak more on the handgun side. I don't really talk about rifles or nothing like that because, you know, that's home defense. And I spoke on handguns being for home defense. But, you know, the best caliber for home defense would definitely be like, well, anything that's that's from that's in the shotgun to two hand hold it. But I really speak from a concealed standpoint because I'm not really into rifles like that. But uh, as far as uh, what caliber should someone get, I think that you should get a first of all you either work get a caliber that works in your budget versus how much you want to go shooting you know because the worst thing you could do is go get a gun and get you a gun caliber like say 10 millimeter and then you get you that's your first gun you get to the house and you say okay now I can't find it's hard finding bullets for this thing and when you do find bullets they're pricey you know so find you want to find a caliber that that's common and you want to find a caliber that fits in your budget versus how much you want to go shoot uh, the logic that I put behind um, the sock bullet size or whatsoever let's take for instance nine millimeter you know. 40, uh, 45 be a little bit bigger, um, 357, okay, look at the size of a bullet compared to the size of a human body, you know, now, me, my opinion, I don't feel like caliber is more so important as, well, to be exact, I can't really say that that's opinion, but because caliber is not more important than your marksmanship, because like I said, I said in another video, if you could have a, uh, you could have the biggest bullet in the world, but if you, if you can't hit nobody with it, what does it even matter? So, <clears throat> as far as the bullet size, I, I, I like forty. I like 40 because it's like in between. I'm always the, I'm a variety type person. You know, I like the best of both, you know. So it's a little bit bigger than a 9, not quite as big as a 45 that way. I got a little bit bigger bullet. I still keep capacity that's closer to the 9, you know. So I'm, and I'm big on capacity. I feel like the more bullets you have, the better shape you're in. Just off the miss factor, you know. Uh, 45, I actually, I want to give me a 45, but I don't think that I would be carrying my 45 because more so than having it as a collector piece because I'm pretty, I am a collector. That's why I have eight. Uh, I'm going to get more. I just, I just really like handguns <clears throat> and 45 is not a bad round to be exact. I, uh, there's a Springfield XDS. I'm interested in seeing what that looks like when it finally comes out because that looks like a 45 that I would get and I would actually carry because 45s are usually chunkier than 9s, 9s and 40s, you know, and that's I'm about size. But, you know, as far as caliber is concerned, get you a caliber that fits in your budget, you know. Uh, 9 millimeter. 
you know, as far as practice ammo, you can get you a box of a hundred for like twenty, I like twenty five dollars. Practice ammo, uh, forty box of hundred, like thirty five dollars. You know, what's crazy is uh, three eighty. You get you a box of one hundred three eighty for for like thirty the same price as forty, you know. And me, I I wouldn't mess with three eighty because of the fact that it's the same price as forty. Why wouldn't I just carry forty? You know, and it's it's the bullet is the size of the nine millimeter, a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, probably the same. Well, no, it's not even. It's close to the same diameter, but not the exact same. But, I don't know, man. Research research the caliber that you want to get and um, fit it into your budget. That way, you make your decision versus saying, okay, well, you're in the store. And then someone says, okay, yeah, 357. And you get out and you can't even find ammo for it or whatsoever. I know nine and four is common. Three fifty seven is uh that's pretty that's pretty common too, but not four to five as well, you know. Nine and four to five. Those are the most common. So me, I get something to fit into your budget versus trying to because I you know, if you're gonna protect yourself, you're gonna have to have the will to learn how to shoot or whatsoever no i don't no round is greater than the other i'm just that's just honest truth you there you can't say that this nine is better than the 40 you can't say 45 is better than nine i mean your preference will be whatsoever but it's just like driving a car you can't say uh you know, a SUV is better than a um, sports car. You know, it's about your preference. So, because I could, like I said before, you can say a bullet is better than other. You can say the most you can say is it's bigger. And for me, bigger isn't always better. You know, it's just about what you can afford. Uh, because how much you want to shoot and practice with. Because, like, you get your gun and you don't practice with it, it don't matter. When somebody come at you, you're going to miss. Like, you're going to miss a, a few times. You're going to miss more than somebody who's been practicing. So, get you a caliber you can afford to shoot. And um, don't buy into someone telling you what you should get. Because when you say, what caliber should I buy, the question is about I yourself so look at something you can afford and uh get, just stay realistic you know this bullet size compared to the size of a human body when somebody gets hit with it they're not gonna fly away as if they've been hit by a car so let's stay realistic in that in that manner but right me I like 9 and 40 I like 940 and 45 well I'm going to get 45 because I see it everywhere. I can't say that I like it yet because I haven't shot it. But I see 45 as much as I see 9 and 40. The gun stores. Um, and you can go in Walmart. Get, you know, you, you can see it. It's right there. But go price you some ammo. Figure out what you want to get. And, uh, you know. Make the decision yourself. Don't get fooled by the hype.